As of just now, a story talked about an amazing event XRP's value reached an impressive $1,427. This is a big deal because 30% of global banks might start using it. At first look, 30% may not seem like much, but it's a big chunk of the banking industry. Interestingly, Ripple is said to be working with almost a third of the world's banks. We have all the proof you need in this section. The question then is whether these banks are using Ripple to its fullest extent. It looks like not. We're going to talk about this subject in more depth today. We'll also talk about some new information that says Ripple could go public by the end of March. As the end of March draws near, this move could send the price of XRP through the roof, reaching an unbelievable $8.97 seven, just over a month. Hey there, coins alert. Welcome back to the place where you can find everything about XRP. Before we get into the meat of today's post, let's quickly catch up. Please do me a small favor. There you have it. To join our great group, hit the like button, subscribe and notification bell also, here's a heads up. As we get closer to 60,000 subscribers, we're getting ready for a huge XRP gift. It's really easy to enter the giveaway. Just do these three easy things. So make sure you're ready and tuned in. Keep in mind that you need to leave a word for money side in the comments to make sure you get into the giveaway. It's interesting that about 4% of all deposits made through foreign bank accounts are made with SBI holdings alone. All of this means that in the big picture, SBI could be a big part of the 30% global banking sector that uses Ripple's technology. Yes, but that's only the beginning. Ripple has also made a big agreement in Brazil, where it is working with the Brazilian Central Bank to offer its on-demand liquidity services. That's only one part of the world puzzle. Thinking about the recent talks we had about the BRICS countries, the if you saw my last video, you'll remember that we looked at how each member country, such as China, Brazil, South Africa, Russia, and India has direct connections with Ripple for short-term cash and central bank digital currencies or CBDCs. Comparing the world's GDP to that of just the BRICS countries shows that they make up about 29% of the world's economic output. This leads us to an interesting option. If all five of the BRICS countries decide to work with Ripple together, the effects could be huge. I talked a lot about this in a past video showing how it's possible to add CBDCs to the XRP ledger and what steps are already being taken. It's impossible to stress how important the XRP ledger is in this situation. It is a very important part of how the economy is changing. Because of this, the possibility for Ripple's technology grows even stronger as we look forward to the next bull market. After the Federal Reserve made a public statement, the talk about Ripple's growing role in financial technology took a big turn. They said that XRP and XLM could be very important in helping to build the blockchain basis for their new FedNow payment system. The Federal Reserve pointed out that working together with Metal Blockchain was a key step toward making the switch from fiat to stablecoins smooth. This would help close the gap between standard banking systems and the decentralized finance sector. At the moment, Americans can make fast payments within the United States mostly through third-party apps like Venmo and PayPal or digital cryptocurrency wallets. However, the FedNow service will change everything about this. The platform is still in its test stage, but over 120 organizations, including well-known banks like U.S. Bank and Exchange Bank, as well as a number of payment processors and solution providers, have already signed up to use it. This event not only shows that blockchain technology is becoming more accepted and used in regular financial services, but it also marks a major turning point in the coming together of traditional banks in the new world of decentralized finance. As a leader in cross-border payment solutions and distributed ledger technology, Ripple is set to play a key role in the FedNow project, which is being led by the Federal Reserve. Stellar Lumens Psalm, which is known for its blockchain-powered network that makes global transfers faster and cheaper, is also likely to be added to the FedNow ecosystem. This is where the story takes an interesting turn. A story caught the attention of the fintech world not long ago. XRP soars to $1,427 as 30% of banks around the world accept it. This is an amazing development that shows how powerful blockchain can be in changing things. The story says that 30% of the world's banks are now using XRP for cross-border payments, which is what caused its amazing rise in value to $1,427. This amount of adoption shows that a huge number of people want XRP, causing its price to reach all-time highs. With its market capitalization going through the roof, XRP's rise is not only a win for Ripple, but also a possible moneymaker for buyers. The story gets more interesting when it's revealed that XRP's market share is almost at or above 30%, which points to even wider use in the world's financial systems. In an interesting development just six days ago, it was said that XRP trades could go over $1.2 quadrillion, increasing its possible price to $10,000. Today is a huge change because financial institutions are starting to use the XRP system and its digital assets in more ways. 
The news has come out and it can't be changed. The buyback scheme from Ripple is no longer just a guess. It's becoming real faster than anyone thought it would. Ripple Labs, the company that created XRP, is not only thinking about buying XRP, they are already doing so. As was pointed out in a recent story called Ripple Starts Substantial Buyback, giving away almost $1 billion in XRP. This shows that a lot of people are sure about XRP's value and its future in the financial world. The story gets more complicated when it comes out that the Federal Reserve is not just watching from the sides, they are very interested in making XRP a central part of global payment systems. The effects are huge, and it is thought that XRP's value could skyrocket to between $12 and $22 per coin if central banks around the world start using it more. This huge increase in value shows how much XRP has the power to change the way global banking works. Further proof that Google's views are in line with this path confirms the Federal Reserve's plans to use XRP as a global payment solution, because it is so highly effective. This set of events is a big step forward for Ripple and XRP. It puts them at the forefront of financial innovation and could change the way payments are made around the world. We have some leaked papers that we're about to share with you. There are more and more signs that the Federal Reserve has been interested in XRP for a while now. A few weeks ago, the Federal Reserve stated that it planned to use XRP around the world, which is in line with the ISO 4217 standard. This big plan was supposed to be put into action by the end of 2023, but there were delays that weren't expected. As a result, XRP wasn't widely used as a currency as soon as regulators gave the go-ahead. Now, XRP is mentioned with well-known currencies issued by governments and central banks like the US dollar, the euro, the British pound, and the Canadian dollar. But the story gets more complicated when it comes out that the Federal Reserve wants to use the XRP digital asset. Insights from Google Reader show that Kikuchi, a government figure, says that XRPL's public chain should be used to make a side chain. Expert KG says that this plan would let Federal Reserve funds work directly with new ideas from the private sector. This would make it possible for people to work together and make huge strides in technology. This is just the start. The head of the U.S. Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, has made it clear that big investments are being made to create new independent payment systems in the U.S. This means that financial technology and digital assets are about to go through a huge change. Please keep in mind that I'm not a qualified financial manager. The information in these movies is only meant to be entertaining. Before making any financial decisions, I always tell my viewers to do their own study and talk to professionals. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to hit the follow button and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, make sure the alerts are on so you know right away when I post something new. In the next movie, I can't wait to catch up with you. Be careful. Mm -hmm.